Christchurch is little more than a village on the plains. From the roof of the unfinished provincial government buildings, Dr. A.C. Barker recorded it all. Each picture took sometimes hours to complete. It's thanks to the work of Dr. Barker and others that we have a priceless record of what Canterbury looked like in the 1850s and 60s. Early photography was slow and laborious. Not only did subjects have to sit still for several minutes, the photographer had to process the wet plates within half an hour before the emulsion dried. For 15 years, Joan Woodward has looked after more than 200,000 old photos at the Canterbury Museum. Thousands of family portraits and a unique look at the early colonial years line the walls or fill the cabinets. The worst enemies of photographs is fingerprints, dust, dirt, light, um, and so we make copies of these and use them for ordinary file purposes. So somebody who, is, who has perhaps got a collection of photographs at home, if they don't want to bring them in here, they should be very, very careful with them. Mostly they're in albums and they don't come to much harm, but we do see a few horror stories of photographs that have been kept in bad storage and have mildewed, who, um, which have been kept stuck to old cardboard and got foxed. There are lots of things that can go wrong. The collection is open to the public. People come here to look, for research, or to get copies made. Genealogists come to find family records. One of the more amazing books here in the archive room is a book on the Allsbrooks Company, the Biscuit People. It was given to R. E. McDougall Esquire, who was the proprietor of the company, at Christmas in 1913. It was given by the workers in the company. It says here in the front, in appreciation of your great liberality in giving the usual Christmas bonus, in spite of the great loss of business that the firm has experienced through the strike of wharf labourers, seamen and firemen in November and December 1913. The extraordinary thing about the book was that this was found as the Allsbrooks factory was being demolished two years ago. The whole workforce at Allsbrooks apparently donated money to get the book made by the press. It really is beautifully done with pictures of every department and coloured drawings of the ingredients used at the factory. We are increasingly find that people will lend us an album so that we can take copies of it and then give it to them back again because they're aware of the value of the album itself. The museum's collection is a unique record of provincial development. Joan Woodward, its custodian, wouldn't wish to work anywhere else. 